Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we're going to be going over the spoilers for the upcoming week of April 22nd, 2024. So that's uh, upcoming troops, uh, whatever events are going on, new weapons, new pets, kingdom level and power, etc. So let me get everything set up. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, and then the 30 for freaking Iron Hawks. That was crazy. That is not clickbait. I mean, depends how you define clickbait. You know, clickbait. Yeah, it, is, I, it, it literally was. So, it is what it is. Uh, let me put the freaking... Uh, I'm trying to make sure this mic's not... like I've been listening to my streams with headphones, and I don't like it. And I don't know if I got it turned up too high, or I got to start messing with it. Drawing attention to it. I would say don't listen with headphones. <laughs> what up, Sana? How's it going? Spoiler time. Vault event time. How's everybody doing in the vault event? How many keys do you got so far? I would say after Friday, you should have at least 100. If, you know, depending on what you're going for. Depending on where you're at in the game, like always. I say for me, I should at least have 100. But... For other people, if you're a beginner or whatnot, maybe only have like 40 or something like that. 50, 40, 100, 150, somewhere in there. But let's go to downloads. Let's go to thumbnail. Can't add this before I start the stream, you know. Just can't. Doesn't let me. I gotta do it after I start it. I'm sorry. Stupid. Stupid dummy. Morning, cat. Am I screaming in your ear? Uh, 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 or breathing too loud? I just gotta stop breathing, that's all. And it doesn't want to save, so I will jump over to the chat. I will say, screw you, I'll do something else then. I'll jump over the chat. I already got Terran's World brought up and everything for the spoilers. We'll run, like, some auto battles while I go over the spoilers. Then we'll do the Vault Event after that. I tried to get on here early. You see, when I try to get on early, I just get here on time. <laughs> I guess that's how I am. If I try to get somewhere early, I just get there on time. Um, Live chat. And let's uh, start. We can start running an auto battle so you have something to look at. Man, the last thing I really need for RNG is to get the Horde Mimic Mythic. Because I've got everything else. I was thinking that last night. Like, dude, I keep getting these boss chests. And I, I had a Mimic pop up like one or two times. I'm like, that's the next thing that's going to happen. Because I've got like everything to happen recently. It's crazy. Hey, no problem, Mark. I was super happy. Like, that's, you're the first person I thought of. I'm like, Mark, I think Mark needs one. And I got it. There it is. And really, I should be thanking like Allie. Uh, A.K.A. Cookie and Twisted and Downtown and all the people in the, that did the Tower of Doom because I wouldn't have done that without them doing that first. So if we want to really think about it, we have the Tower of Doom top five to thank for me even doing that. So thanks to those people for the Iron Hawk as well. But I got 30 Iron Hawks last night. I'll explain. I mean, you could probably if you've been playing the game for a while, you probably know what happened. But uh. I gotta keep that little teaser. We'll do the spoilers first. Like, subscribe, and join, you noobs. <laughs> Fly, Rich, Cat, Glorfindel. How's everybody doing? Hit that like, turn in your ticket to the train. I want to say up front, yesterday was a lot better as far as, you know. It's really hot and cold here at my place, and yesterday was okay. Uh, still clicking on stuff. I'm sorry. Takes a little bit longer for the spoilers. Oh, right, here you can watch this. You watch a really slow auto battle. While I get everything set up. But yeah, spoilers. I was kind of looking at them, and uh, we got a Lyanna's Empire week coming up. Uh, we got raids. It says Guild Wars on Terran's World, but I doubt it, right? Could look at our guild uh 
thing and see if it's coming soon. I haven't been paying attention, though. We definitely don't have Guild Wars next week, right? No freaking way. They still haven't done, like, an update or anything to fix stuff, so... How are we gonna have Guild Wars? At least I don't think. I've been paying, like, a ton of attention. But thank you, Mark, for the two. Running out there, getting stuff started. Um... Everything's being slow. Bear with me. I'll put a chapter in so you can skip this. If you want to leave and come back, I, I understand. <laughs> come on. Come on. It feels, feels so long when you're sitting here on live, when you're trying to push some buttons in the background. Feels like, um, it's like five minutes when it's really like probably two minutes. Ugh. All right, let's get into these spoilers. I think I'm ready. All right, weekly event spoilers for the upcoming week of... Oh, I got to put a chapter in. Let's put a chapter in so people can skip it. Spoilers. At the six? Freaking six? Dude, I took seven minutes. I suck. Seven minutes. All right, spoilers for the upcoming week of... April 22nd, 2024. For all platforms, remember we're all in the same timeline now, even Nintendo Switch. And I probably won't stop saying that until it's been like six months. But let's see what's going on next week. We have a Leonis Empire week. We have a raid event for the guild event. It says Guild Wars, but I'm pretty sure we're not having Guild Wars. But we'll, we'll check it out. Tuesday, Faction Assault is City of Thieves. Wednesday, Pet Rescue is Alex from Leonis Empire. Thursday, Class Event is War Priest. And Friday, we have a Bounty Event. The Fireborn Lynx. Let's go check that out. New troop. Or no, Leonis Empire first. Event Key Drop Table and Weapons in the Soul Forge. I'll read all the troops and then I will... Let you know if any of them jump out at me. These will be troops you can get with event keys next week. Amira, Corbin Half-Elf, Dao, Desert Mantis, Divinish Bala, Emperor Corvash, Falconer, Flame of Anu, General Saladin, Garion, Katib Tahir, Kopeshi, Lion Prince, Manticore Cub, Manticore Protector, Manticore, Money Lender, Monster Muncher, Orpheus Priestess, Pride Guard, Regent Caliph. Sandcat, Sand Cobra, Servant of the Dow, Snake Charmer, The Devoted, The Emperor, Tigraki Warrior, Voice of Orpheus, Wandering Monk, War Elephant, Warhawk, and Wazir. Uh, Divine Ishbala is like the only one that really jumped out at me. She's a legendary. She's pretty good. She's one of those. She's got a 40% start for Divine. She's got a double conversion. She's got like enchant. She's, she's pretty good. She's one of those old legendaries that's actually still good. Divine Ishbala, Yao Gui, Queen Titania. She's one of those. Sometimes, like, Glaceon and... Anyway. Run another auto battle here. But yeah, she's the only one I would even... And, and that's not worth throwing event keys for, for just one legendary, no matter how good it is, except for, like, Tesla. And Tesla's in an actual kingdom with, like, Tina and Ironhawk and stuff like that, so... All right, weapons. These will be in the Soul Forge. Doomed Promise for D. Leon. Golden Sun, Holy Avenger, King's Dagger, Knight's Sword, Chris Hook, Lion and Tiger, Lion's Claw, Lion's Reach, Merchant's Blade, Knight Dagger, Orpheus Decord, Orpheus's Verse, Pendant of the Empire, and Symbol of Anu. Nothing. Nothing. The one thing I do want to say is the Emperor that I said earlier is a tarot card, and you cannot get it from event keys. Because you might say, well, the Emperor's good, but can't get it, so that's why I didn't mention it. So yeah, that's all the troops and all the weapons. So let's head back to new troops. What's coming out next week? What new troops are we going to get? On Monday, April 22nd, 2024, from Leonis Empire, we have Lion Commander, clearly a Leo. Arcane Blood, base rarity, epic, troop type, Raksha Knight, troop roll, striker. 
It is a Raksha Knight, so it's a lion standing on two legs that has a sword, and he's on the thumbnail. Spell is Battle Orders. Deal magic plus four damage to an enemy boosted by all ally armor. If they are a boss, deal three times five times damage based on my ascensions. It's, a, it's the shiny troop. The shiny spell is deal magic plus four damage to an enemy boosted by all ally armor. If they are a boss, deal three times five times damage based on my ascension. So what did they add there? They added, uh... Deal magic plus four damage to an enemy. If they're a boss, based on my... They added nothing! I'm glad I... <laughs> what did they do? Why do what, the shiny spell does nothing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind, I'm dumb. It's 3 to 1 instead of 4 to 1. Okay, whatever. They, they upped the boost ratio. Usually it's in the spell text, so I missed it there. It's at the very end, it says 3 to 1 instead of 4 to 1. Okay, sorry. Mana color blue, red. Mana cost 12. Trait number 1 is alert. Immunity to silence. Trait number 2 is armored. 25% from skulls. Trait number 3 is god slayer. Deal 3 times 5 times skull damage versus bosses based on my ascension. Caustic life is here. Heart's channel is here. I'll be back at the chat in a minute. But yeah, it does damage to an enemy boosted by all ally armor. So it's going to hit one enemy very hard. Um, that's pretty much what it does anyway. It's the raid troop. It's going to kill the raid boss. But I guess it'll hit the other enemies harder. But you won't use it after the raid event is over. Sorry. Also on Monday from Leonis Empire, we got Main Courser. First name, always. Last name, Hungry. Always Hungry. Arcane Mountain, base rarity, ultra rare, troop type, beast, troop roll, generator. It is a beast. It's just a lion jumping through the air. Leo 9 Loyalty is the spell. Explode 1 gem boosted by Leonis Empire allies. Mana color yellow brown, mana cost 10. Trait number 1 is Raksha Bond. Trait number 2 is Nimble, which is immunity to entangle. Trait number 3 is Armored, 25% Skull. Friday from the Nexus, we have Fireborn Lynx. The Missing Lynx, Arcane Beast, Base Rarity Rare, Troop Type Elemental Beast, Troop Roll Striker. It's a little catty, a little catty kitty cat, whatever. It's on fire. I meant to say kitty, and I said catty. Flaming Claw is the spell. Deal magic plus three damage to an enemy, then burn all enemies below them. Mana color green, red. Mana cost 12. Trait number one is Bounty Hunter. Trait number two is Fireproof. Trait number three is Born of Fire. Create a red gem when my turn begins. Brian Ferguson, what up? Uh... Yeah, it's pretty slow, dude. You gotta get all the quests done and stuff. And, uh, what else, man? I've done new account playthroughs. You, there's other video, like, you should check out my other videos. Like, my new account playthrough playlist. Where I went back and I started over the entire game. And I did it. You know, it'll help you more than me right now. In the middle of the spoilers. But I can come back around and, and give you some tips when I'm done. But yeah, get those uh, quests done. Luther will pop up, I'll tell you what to do. And, uh, Goblin Team is the best way to start. You can get it in the Warband Shop. Once the Warband Shop opens, you'll have War Coins. You can go and get some Goblins or the Clockwork Sphinx and stuff like that. So. It's all in my, uh, like, beginner videos and my new account playthroughs and stuff like that. You could almost treat it like a podcast. Just put on the playlist. It's me starting the game all the way over. Like a year ago. Brain. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all the troops. Did I finish the troops? I think that, uh, that was the bounty troop, by the way. The Fireborn Lynx. Okay, so. Weapon spoilers. On Monday, April 22nd, from Leonis Empire, we have Lion's Reach. Rarity Legendary Weapon Type Polearm Weapon Roll Generator. Mana color red brown, mana cost 14. The spell is explode, magic plus one blue gems. Grant a random status effect to all Leonis Empire allies, then summon a Leonis Empire troop. It has vital, gain four life, reaching, deal five damage to the second enemy. Hemorrhage, bleed the first enemy, and powerful, gain four mana. So it's an explodey, grant random status effect, summon a Leonis Empire. You always want those, you just want to grab them. You're going to be doing the event anyway. You're going to buy up to the weapon anyway. As long as you're in that part of the game. 
So that's troop spoilers, weapon spoilers. Let's do uh, pet spoilers. Supernova, good to see ya. Hey, it's Saturday, so you must be off work. Um, there are no pets coming. Max Kingdom Power. Somebody was asking me which brown kingdom to uh, get to 20 first. And I have no idea because I haven't done brown yet. But if you look here, you just look for a brown kingdom that can get to power 30. Which may be broken, is Broken Spire brown? That might be the one. Not sure. I'll have to look in the game. Anyway, on the 26th, Nexus Kingdom Power goes to 19. That's dangerously close to 20, which is a stat. But it's not there yet. So yeah, that is the spoilers. We got a raid event. We got a bounty event. We got Lyanna's Empire. Divine Ishbala. Uh, that's not, nothing too crazy. Nothing too special. It said Guild Wars there, but do we have Guild Wars? Let's go look. I don't... I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see Guild Wars there. To We're not registering for Guild Wars anywhere, right? So, I don't think that's right. Like, maybe we were, we were supposed to have Guild Wars this week, but... Let me catch up in the chat. We got Sauna, we got Cat, we got Glorfindel, we got Rich. Mark... Uh, Hearts, Hearts Channel, Brian, uh, Supernova, what's up everybody, Sana says celebrate good times, oh yeah, Kat says good morning, Glorfindel, hiya, how's it going, rich morning, no problem Mark, I'll thumbs that up, yeah, don't forget you noobs, morning Effley, morning Rydia, Heart says good morning. Good morning to you. Oh, is that Mike? What up, Mike? Heart's channel is Mike, everybody. I'm doing okay, Effley. Better day yesterday than usual. Caustic says the gnomes are trolling this weekend. 14 verses. Ooh, yeah. That's one way you could uh have a bad vault weekend. You, like, don't get the verse you need. Doesn't really ever happen to me very often. But... I mean, I could see it happening, and I've had it. I've had a streak before where I was like, "Oh no!" Like it's taking me like three boss chests to get this verse, but eventually it comes around if you just keep trying. I know it sucks, and you're looking for a very specific gnome with a very specific colored verse, and it kind of feels like you're never gonna get it. But if you keep trying, like you got to keep doing the ver the right thing. Like don't be stopping and doing your pets, and don't be doing PvP, and don't be doing Underspire, don't be doing Tower of Doom. You know, run three Iron Hawks and just kill enemies. If you're not doing that, that's your own fault. You're not getting the verse. And not talk talking to anybody in particular. I know I come off freaking abrasive and like I'm yelling at people all the time, but I'm just trying to help. And I know I don't know why I sound like that. But you guys already know, and you've been around a long time, so it's not like it's anything new. Livewire, Sauna, with the gifted. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Mike says, yeah, it's me seeing the stream, taking a healthy guy right now. <laughs> uh, Yeah, the beginning of the game is pretty slow, Brian. But we'll talk about it. If you have any questions, let me know. I would watch those uh, new account playthroughs if I were you. I'm about to do another one, so I'm like as far from being a new player as you can be so it's really hard to give beginner advice i'm probably the best person to ask though out of anybody because i've actually done two new account playthroughs and i did one a year ago but it's time for me to do another one so you're catching me at like the worst time to give good advice to a beginner because i'm right about to do another one and i'll have, I'll have way better advice in like a month or two eric says that was me asking about the brown kingdom all right let's go check it out man we gotta look at our kingdoms and see which one you would do. Um, they said bro somebody said broken spire, so let's look at it. Is this a brown kingdom? Yeah, and you can get it to thirty too. So they might be right. That person seemed like they knew what they were talking about too. 
You know, sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't know, but they were giving you the answer you were looking for, it seemed like. Maybe Broken Spire. It does give you HP, though. If you could look around for different, like, if you want to, do they all give HP, like, all the brown ones? So far. Urskaya. Kazeel. Looks like they all give HP. That's the reason I haven't done brown yet, you know? I would rather have any stat except for HP. And the reason you go to 20 is to get the stat. So I'm looking for magic, first of all. And then if I, if I have to pick something else, I'm looking for, like, attack or armor. Like, HP is, like, the last thing I'm looking for. So the brown, brown kingdoms are the last ones I'm doing. But I understand if you just have a crazy amount of brown books and you want to you wanna, uh, do a kingdom to level 20. Like, the, um... <clears throat> you want to do a magic kingdom first. Darkstone or Karakoth. Right? And then you do Zalkari second. Because it's the only green kingdom that's a magic kingdom. And then I went for... Uh... Sword's Edge next. Because I probably had, like whatever the cert the right amount of blue books or whatever it is like but that but that would be you having the right amount of brown books and you're like oh i'm just gonna do broken spire and then i had the next one i had the most amount of books for was red which is gonna be different for everybody because we're getting random colored books in pvp and not everybody's getting the same colors and but yeah i think broken spire is a good choice i don't think you can go wrong as long as it can get to 30 that's the thing people say. Like, which kingdom should I do? Well, can it get to level 30? Like, how close is it to 30? Supernova! Good thing, too, for hunting gnomes, yep. Glorfindel says, been in the garden graft cra grafting for the last four hours, and I stank. <laughs> oh, nice. Just don't shave your legs. Leon is here. Ironhawk, where? Uh, my guild. Sorry. Um, I... I'll tell the story now about the Ironhawks, so y'all can leave if you want. Um, I went to my guild, you know, we had Tower of Doom, right? And they got it done on Thursday. And that was right before the, uh, vault event. And I was like, that's awesome. I'm glad that they did that. And then I went to my guild chat, and I'm like, hey... I'm going to give 5 million to guild tasks for you guys getting the uh, Tower of Doom done. Let's see if we can find it. Somewhere. I said, nice work on TOD. I'll drop another 5 million on tasks. Appreciate the hard work. I said, bang! There you go, Ironhawk for everyone. So, what had happened is I did a... Uh, Five million in, in, in tasks, and we got a random Iron Hawk as our legendary task. After right when I did it, so every single person in the guild got Iron Hawk. So people are giving me gifts because <laughs> you know people probably have one or two, or they need one more, or maybe they don't have any. Or like and when we look at our collected rewards, it might show it right there. Look. Cine cool has completed a guild task. Here is your reward. Iron Hawk. So if you think I'm capping, there it is in text. Pretty cool, right? So that's every single person in my guild gets an Iron Hawk. That's 30 Iron Hawks, or however many people we have. It could be 29, 28, whatever. Like, I even got an Iron Hawk, and I didn't need it. Now I got four of them. But pretty cool, right? Like, out of every troop in the game, we could have got there. It could have been a legendary, it could have been a, any other mythic, and it was the Friday, the first day of the vault event, and we get an Iron Hawk for 30 people in our guild. So imagine if somebody had joined our guild the other day when I was recruiting. You would have got an Iron Hawk today. Probably, maybe. I can't remember how, if you have to wait a week for the tasks or not, but I don't think you have to. Mike says, ever had a grown-ass man spank your bunnies and say, he's your unks? <laughs> I've seen people spanking each other's butts just randomly. Maybe you're playing baseball. Superman says, I'm, I man the dipping station, which requires many layers of a level containment suit in case of chemical splash and an air supply that hisses in your ear. Dang. Chad with the two running out there with Mark. Appreciate it. 
Uh, Glorfindel is taking a monster dump. Yeah, I'm glad to help, Mark. Yeah, Leon, if you would have been in my guild, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. I've never seen, like, that's the perfect timing, too. Like, to get an Iron Hawk for your entire guild would be amazing no matter when it happens, but it happened on the very first day of the Vault event. That's just crazy. That's a lining, everything lining up perfectly, like the freaking Eclipse a week ago. But that's what I wanted to show. It's pretty, pretty nuts. I've got three perfects in the last five days in the dungeon, too. Like, I'm having crazy luck recently in this game. It's like all my luck is going into the game. Instead of, like, real life. What up, Des the Enforcer? How's it going? Alright, let's get into some Vault Event, for real. Let's check our dailies first, though. You know, you can always do that. Complete a dungeon run. Alright, let's do it, I guess. Some people need Dragonite more than they need anything. Oh, appreciate it, Des. Trying to get to that 8k. It's taking forever, dude. <laughs> I'm slowing to a crawl. I've hit the glass ceiling of the uh, Gems of War. So. Just look at, uh, like, Tacit, for example. He he said he hit the glass ceiling way before me. and Oh, man, I gotta complete this because the uh, thing asked for it. I mean, should I really, though? When it's the Vault event, I question everything that I'm doing. I guess I will. When is the Vault Event? I feel like you should always be doing the Vault Event and not sit here and have death marks while you're trying to complete a freaking dungeon. When you already got a trap, you know? I should just move on. But the XP booster, the best time to use it is during the Vault Event, in my opinion. Or, you know, Guild Wars, technically. After you get a win. But right now, with no Guild Wars around, the best time to use your XP boosters is right now. So to pass on an XP booster, I don't know. Uh, let's take Skulls. Should probably put on Orpheus or use a different team, but I'm trying this team first. And it's just my fun team. It's not like I think it's the best ever. Ooh, I would have loved to get an instant kill there. Uh, I should probably done Wrath. Do we have Wrath? Yes. Alright, one battle down. We will get to the Vault Event. I'm sorry. This is relatable, right? You gotta do the dungeon. Let's just switch to Orpheus. What are you doing, dummy? Pushing the wrong button. Alright. Jim is here. What up, Jim? If you missed the Ironhawk story, I gave uh, guild tasks to my guild for doing so well in the Tower of Doom. And one of the guild tasks that we got was 30 Ironhawks for the entire guild. Every single person in the guild got Ironhawk. It's pretty crazy. And I showed the, uh, the proof. I also have a video of it. Allie was like, did you capture that? I'm like, no, but then I went back. You know, PlayStation has the thing where it record, it like keeps, it saves like the last hour. And it was 58 minutes ago when I hit it. I was like, oh, that was so close. I barely got it. So I do have it on, uh, I did record it happening. But I don't know if I should put out a video about it. I already told y'all. Subscribe and do the backwards cowgirl. <laughs> uh, I haven't started my second account yet, Maka. You want to see it? I can put it out. I got to do a pre-recorded video on Monday. That stupid uh maintenance man business on Monday. So I'm probably going to have to do pre-recorded no live stream Monday. So Some of y'all will like that. We'll go back to the old school way of doing it. 
Man, of course, the bottom three. So no live stream on Monday, because I gotta wait for one of those that can come any time between eight and five freaking things. So you know as soon as I fire up the live stream, they're gonna come. This place is the worst, like, for coming into your house. Like, I've never lived anywhere. It, I'm just, I was thinking earlier. Like, did this happen everywhere else I lived? Did they come into my house every two months? Like, everywhere else I lived? I'm like, no, they didn't. Like, what the hell? I guess it's just because this place sucks and everybody here sucks. Not everybody, you know. I say everybody. I always exaggerate. You know what I mean? Like, I like a couple people. But <laughs> it's like... When 90% of them suck, you just say everybody. So don't take offense. When 90% is the answer, you just say everybody. But I never had a place that like come come like tries to come in so often. They must have like so much problems everywhere that they just have to do it to everybody. I was thinking, my very first apartment, how many times? I can't even remember a time. The the house that I had, of course nobody, that was my own house, so that, you know. Like this one, this, uh, nope. The other place, nope. Never seen anybody. Um, the other place when I lived above a flower shop, they never, pretty much never. Maybe once every six months or once once a year. That's about it. Uh, where else? That's about it. I haven't really lived a bunch of places. I've been here for like seven freaking years, so. But it's getting like more and more and more. Like when we first moved in, it was nice here. And they didn't bother bother you so much. And now it's just like getting worse and worse and worse. And they're bothering you more and more and more. <clears throat> Gotta read it, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's in there. King Dump Master. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Mark. I sent you a message, too. I was like, I know he's gonna appreciate it. Because you never know, like, what if 20 of the people in the guild already have four Ironhawks and they don't really care? And I was ready to have somebody be excited about it. Maka says, I have no idea how it's possible to donate so many Ironhawks. It just, yeah, just any troop you would get from a guild, a legendary task. So first of all, you gotta get all your tasks done. Second of all, you gotta get all your epic tasks done. Then you start doing legendary tasks. So you gotta be in a pretty high level guild that does a lot of donating. So legendary tasks do have a very small chance to give you a mythic for the entire guild. So that was a very, very small chance to get the very best mythic. Which is crazy. On the first day of all of it. Like every, I should buy a lottery ticket yesterday. Because that's crazy. That's so crazy luck. Such crazy luck. Like I said, shout out to the top five in the in the Tower of Doom because they made it happen too. Even if they didn't push the button, they uh, were the cause of it. All right, so wow, Ritz deeds and event keys. Don't forget to do your adventure board. There's some stuff there you can't even get from the Vault event. I mean, you can. You can get everything from the Vault event because indirectly. You get enough gems, you can buy anything you want. You get enough gold, you can buy anything you want. So, that's why I say the Vault Event can give you everything in the game. Because it can, indirectly. It can almost directly give you, a lot, like, 75% of the things you're looking for. But indirectly, it can give you 100%. Almost. Yeah, pretty much. Like, if you think about it, gems could... Can, if you had enough gems, you could open chests and get a mythic, which you should never do, but technically you can get mythics from having vault keys if you if you connect the dots. Or anything, writs, deeds, books, dragonite. If you connect the dots far back enough, the vault of it can give you everything in the game. But, you don't see Ritz very often on the adventure board, so you should probably get them. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's always nice when people work with you and... You know? 
get something done together. They're the ones that did the hard work, though. I just pushed a button, so. But I guess I had to have the 5 million gold to donate. And I had to have the thought of, hey, I should reward these people for doing something nice. Some people would just be like, oh, I'll just, uh, yay, good job. No, I'll give you something. You never know what can happen from a guilt from a legendary tasks. You never know. So, you know, something. Most of the time, it's and you're like, oh, some more keys, or oh, yeah, whatever. Oh, five million. That's all. I'll give ten million. But hey, he got Iron Hawk, so it could happen. The more we do, the better. Jam Ricks. Been a member for 21 months. Appreciate the continued support. Wonder how many members we got right now. It's got to be 90 to 100 to a little bit over 100, maybe. I haven't checked in a while. That's the best part about this channel, like the close knit community we got. We're no longer like chasing the dragon of views. I used to do that. And I've been there, man. I got videos with 25,000 views, and I could go back to chasing that dragon, I guess. But I'd rather have the close-knit, tight community that supports me. <clears throat> I feel like you gotta, like, pick one or the other eventually. You either double down on your, your community, or you keep chasing that dragon of views. You gotta pick one or the other. You can't do both. Yeah, stupid lease. I don't know. They could be changing it every time I sign it. I don't know. You don't read every single freaking letter. Most of the time they tell you nothing's changed. Here you go. Just sign it. Glorfindel with the gifted. Went to sassy cosmic boobs. <laughs> See? You never know, dude. That's why you gotta gift a membership. It could be Joe Rogan. It could be Mr. Beast. It could be Sassy Cosmic Boobs. You never know who it's gonna be. You can get some Sassy Cosmic Boobs all of a sudden, y'all. You never know. That's the fun of uh, gifting. You know, random person. Now, now, we, now, sassy cosmic boobs is a center and one with the choir. And we must pray for their boobs. <laughs> right, come on, dragon. Just die so we can do the vault of it. Just die. No, just die, I said. You die. You die. Thank you. I was looking at the avatar closely to make sure it wasn't boobs. Alright, uh, let's see. So we did the dungeon, we did the adventure board, um, we did the XP booster. So it's time to do the vault event. And by the way, I switched to Cinema Mirage. Rich Kaufman won't be on much next three weeks, packing and moving from Vegas to South Dakota. Man, can I move in with you, man? Can I move to South Dakota? I wish. Sometimes I think I want to move super far away. But then I'm like, uh, I want to be near my family at least a little. Oh, and then my, you know, Mrs. Cindy has the job and everything. I mean, she could get, I don't know. So we have to stay kind of close by because she has a nice job that we got to stay near. But in my dreams in like 10 years, I'm going to move to like freaking Maine or Colorado or South Dakota or something like that. You just gifted to Mike D? Is he sassy cosmic boobs? We had Mark run out there, then Sauna. Ooh, it went to Jim Hambrick. Chad with the two. I'm gonna thumbs that up. Thank you so much, bro. Teamwork makes the dream work. Jam Ricks with the 21 months. 
Glorfindel gifted to the boobs. And then Maka with the nine months. Nice. But good luck with the move, Rich. What up, Simba the Great? How's it going? Alright, so I switched to Sin of Mirage. Because Wild Plains was giving me trouble with the tarot card. And I think Tyrion Shark actually mentioned that a few weeks ago. He's like, Wild Plains is now has a tarot card in it. And I was like, oh, I guess we'll see. And yeah, and he was right. So now I'm at Sin of Mirage. Just by the way, if you've been following along. Because yesterday I was in Wild Plains. Last night I said, I'm going to try Sin of Mirage. Because I keep getting this stupid tarot card. You got a, a house for 15k, three rooms, one bathroom, two story house, and one acre land. Nice job, dude. You just got your first Mythic Simba? Awesome. Which one was it? Sauna keeps saying Midnight. Maybe I'm going to have to try Midnight and see if I can uh, have another one. It's always nice to have more places to go. Chad's going back to work. He says steamroll over that like button on the way out. Or he will. Mark says, other than Plague Lord, Titan, Elementalist, what class would you trade up next during this weekend? Trade it up or level it up? It's kind of two different things. I think you mean level up. So Plague Lord, Titan, Elementalist. I like Archer. I like Thief. I'm thinking of ones that I use. Archer, Thief, Archmagus. Yeah, probably like Archer, Thief, or Archmagus. Those are the first three that come to mind to me. You know, Slayer. Sunspear. Slayer and Sunspear were like more back when we were doing the Zul'Goth Fireblade thing and the Fomag thing. So maybe the Fireblade teams have taken a step back. And, and you're probably better off doing Thief or Archer. Or Archmagus. Now that I think about it. You gotta stay with the times. Like, I play this game every day, and I, you know, so I'm with the times. And sometimes something is good, and then it is no longer as good as it used to be, because we're doing so much Stellarix and Diamantinas and Takshakas, and... And if you're not doing that, you're doing Rowan and Truffle Shuffle and Queen Beatrix and Vinoxia and Red Macockles. But Zul'Goth is still good. So you might want to do Slayer eventually. But now he's kind of more used with like High King Iron Good or the Wand. Ooh, you got to get the Magic Deeds. I don't even know why I sat there for that long. I'm hun hunting verses right now. I like to hunt verses until I get a boss chest and then I go and do a gap. That way I don't have to worry about a boss chest during a gap. Monk's pretty good too. Orb Weaver's pretty good, yep. Orb Weaver, I found, was the first class that you really start leveling at the beginning of the game because it's open. It opens up first. It's not like it's the best class, but it's a good defensive class and it's a good starter class at the very beginning of the game. And then it's still good later in the game. It's just like you're not going to use it very often unless it's for defense. It's not bad. Same with Monk, though. Monk, you don't see me using Monk too often, but it's still good. It's like Sentinel, where Sentinel is good, but we don't use it very often, but it's still good. Supernova says, most people go to Florida when they retire, but I'm going to Alaska instead. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind going somewhere where it rains all the time, or... I'm just not a super social person, so... I don't like... I don't know. People are outside throwing a party, it more gets on my nerves. <laughs> then makes me want to go out and party. Uh... 
Simba says I got Mamba Sierra. She does magic tandem. Yes, that's not too bad. That's your first one. I'm not gonna like say it's the best one ever either, but if I was to get a random mythic as my very first mythic and I got Mamba Sierra, I would not be disappointed. It could probably help you lay down some damage. It's pretty average in the grand scheme of things, though. It's like a C plus B minus mythic, but that's way better than you getting like Fallen Vowdies or um, Gorganchar or Doomclaw or something stinky. At least you got something useful that you might be able to use. Like maybe instead of uh, I mean you would still want to do Rowan instead of Mamba Sierra, like. Because Rowan has such a low mana cost, and it's easy to boost her, and she probably does more damage in the grand scheme of things. But maybe in certain restrictions, you would use your Mamba Sierra, and you got more tools in your tool belt now, and it's always nice to get your first Mythic. Yeah, Leon, I did make a Mythic tier list. It's uh, been a while, though. I don't even know how long ago I made that. I want to say it was like six months ago, but it could have it could be a year and a half ago. <laughs> Time flies. Time flies when you get older. Because I'm definitely not having fun. But yeah, I definitely made a mythic tier list. I've probably made a couple of them. I've done top 10 mythic videos. I've done I did a top 20 mythic video. I think that's the most recent one I did. Maybe not a mythic tier list. The mythic tier list I did is probably from years ago. Cuz I did do one at some point. I have done a mythic tier list, but it's probably like 2 years ago at this point now that I think about it. The the thing I did recently was the top 20 mythics. I've done, like, the first five Mythics. I think I did that since I did the Mythic tier list. I have all kinds of videos. If you don't... If people don't know, I don't just... I haven't always just streamed every day. Like, I used to make pre-recorded videos, and I've, I have videos about pretty much everything on the on the channel. If you go and look. And a lot of it still applies. If, if you're... If you can, you know... Of course, if I did the video two years ago, then certain troops are not going to be on there, and you'll have to slot them in yourself. But the, the list price would still help you, at least a little bit. Like If you get a certain mythic, like, oh, I got the Wild Queen, I wonder where he thinks that goes. And, oh, he put it as a top ten. That must mean it's at least close to the top ten still. It's not going to fall all the way to S, uh, like F tier all of a sudden. Oh, I don't... Forgot. I gotta go get my team. We're gonna get the... Uh, we're gonna run a gap. I'm gonna get Sister Superior. And now I will copy this team. So I don't have to do that again. And I'll run one fight to make sure. I gotta take my Orpheus off too, because that does a little extra animation that you don't want. I think. Do I have Orpheus on? A gap is a gnome a palooza. So G A P. Gnome a palooza. That's when you get four verses from four of the Nomapalooza gnomes. You got to get the green one, the brown one, the red one, and the blue one. And then you mix... Once you get all four, you can go to the Soul Forge and you can craft something called a Nomapalooza, which we just say gap, just to, you know, shorten it. But then you get all gnomes for 15 minutes. Every single enemy is a gnome for 15 minutes when you craft that Nomapalooza. There's a timer on the screen for 15 minutes. It does whole different music... I'll show you one right now. You want to go to Explore 1 and do your fastest team after you craft it. And that gives you, like, a lot of vault keys. You're going to get a ton of vault keys. I mean, more than you would usually get, of course. Depends how fast you are. All right, here's a Noma Palooza. You see, I got the blue, the green, the red, and the brown. 
I got one of each. I can craft one. And I'll have 15 minutes of only gnomes. Every enemy will be a gnome. That way I can get more vault keys. It's the vault event. Now's the time to do these. And if you don't have these verses, what you got to do is go to Explorer 1. Use your fastest team, whether it's Rowan or Ironhawk or Moon Mage or whatever you do. That's what I recommend. One of those. And you just have to keep killing enemies until you see the right verse gnome. And you got to collect one of each, and then you can craft one of these. And then you have all gnomes for 15 minutes. That's what people are doing this weekend. But we're at 50 minute mark. So I'll wait till 51, then I'll go so we know exactly. 106. 106 is when it ends. And of course it's loading. Now we're doing a Gnomapalooza. So you notice the music changed. Now we have all gnomes. So this is a higher chance for vault keys. And then you get all that other loot too. Like a regular enemy is just going to give you some souls. A gnome is going to give you glory, a ton of souls, a gems, a ton of gold. Yeah, I could timestamp. Thank you. Um, I'll probably have to do it after this because now I'm already... Maybe I can do it in between when it's loading. I'm going to try to put in a timestamp while it's loading. Oh, gap. There, I got it. You guys ever try to do stuff while the game's loading and while you're doing a gap? Aw, oh, man. Missed it. Rich says, Weaver good for two Kalsadani team. Yeah, I did a timestamp. She does magic damage. To yeah. Mamba Sierra would not be the worst first mythic to get. You're just happy to see any mythic when you get your first mythic. Just remember that you don't have to, like, force it into your team. I think that's a mistake people make early in the game. They get a mythic, and then they want to use it. Which is completely understandable. But we got to resist the urge to just force it into every battle. We, we have our either our goblin team, or our Rowan team, or our guardian teams, or our truffle shuffle team, or our skeleton, tea gold, uh, skeleton key team, or something. And you should continue to use that team. You shouldn't just... You're not going to, like, put Mabasira onto your Rowan team. They're built specific... They're, they're really built specifically to do a certain thing, and they got to be built a certain way. You can't just cram a, a mythic on there. But you could build a team around Mamba, Mabasira and use her, like, in PvP or something. Um, or, like, if there's a guild event where she's an option... Or if you're in the underworld or something and you want to try a different faction. Or if you're doing a quest and... I don't know if you get bored of doing Rowan. But I wouldn't like just take Mamba Sierra and like plop it onto my Rowan team. Because when I was doing my second new account playthrough, I got Wild Queen. As my first mythic. And that's a good one. And I resisted the urge to just use it. Because the Wild Queen is for, like, PvP, for Guild Wars, for stuff like that. And I wasn't even doing those things. So I was like, oh, it's nice to... I got it. So when it's time to use her, I'm going to have her. But I'm not just going to cram her onto the team I'm using every day, all day. Like, even if you get, like, Ironhawk, for example. If you're a beginner and you just get Ironhawk and you hear everybody talking about Ironhawk and how awesome it is. 
You can't really do anything with it. Until you get that second Iron Hawk. So you kind of just like put it to the side. Like it's like you're a 14 year old with a Lamborghini. Like you can't drive it yet, but you have it for when you turn 16. Like you got a really cool car, but you can't drive it yet. You might sneak it out, but you know, it's gonna get you into trouble. The next mythic is... He looks kind of like the Great King. Yeah, that'd be like a... A person that's level 200 getting Ironhawk. Be like a 14-year-old with a Lamborghini. You can't do anything with it, but... You can look at it. You can sit in it. You can look in it. You can look at it. You can move it around in your driveway, maybe. But you're not going to take it out and do donuts not your daily driver yet that's why that first five team video I did probably has so many views and was I didn't even know it was such a good idea at the time you really do need to stick with certain teams at the beginning of the game and not just try to use mythics if you happen to get one it's kind of boring. You got to get Rowan. You got to use the Rowan team. It's just to open everything up and to start getting everything else. And then you can start using other things. You can sit there with the, the, whatever team you want. It's just going to take longer. You can play this game however you want to play it. You can, you can build a team of dwarves just because you like dwarves. And then you can you could probably win. It's just going to take longer. And you're not going to have as much stuff. And you might get annoyed and you might quit the game because you're like, man, this game is slow. I don't know what I'm... Like, I have my dwarf team and they're really awesome. Like, I love dwarves. I made a whole team of dwarves. I got the soul gnome on there. I got the dwarf on there. I got the dwarven miner, whatever his name is. I got the dwarven hunter. But, you know, you got to use the best troops that get stuff done quick. Because you're playing this game every day for like two hours. And you're not trying to make it take longer at certain points. You just got to you gotta know, like, here's the team I should be using. And then here's my fun team that I know when I'm using this that I'm just, you know, having fun and taking longer. Then I can switch back to the real team when I'm ready to get some stuff done. That way you don't get bored and stop playing. So I recommend goblins and then Rowan and then get in a guild. And then get your guardians, get in that underworld, get those underworld troops, get that Queen Beatrix, the Mirage Queen, the Gob Truffles, the Gargoyles, the Magma Dragons, the Shagaroths, the Harpy Mages. Go get those. Stuff you can do on your own without having, like, luck. I think some people out there, they're trying to rely too much on getting lucky. And like getting a mythic from getting opening keys. And like they're not happy unless they get the best mythic from opening... Well, you can go like get stuff on your own without, without it being luck. You can go to the underworld and get these awesome legendaries that aren't just from getting lucky. You can go to the warband shop and get Clockwork Sphinx and some goblins and stuff. And it's not RNG. You just have to go push a button and get them. Now you have some solid troops to actually use that you know you can get 100%. You're not relying on luck. So that's how that's how I play the game and how I teach others to play the game. It's like get things that you know you can get that you know are good that don't you don't have to get lucky. Save up event keys, save up diamonds, don't just throw them whenever all the time. You know, let's make sure we're getting the thing the good stuff. Let's wait for the good stuff. Let's get the stuff that's going to get the job done. Let's not just do a scratcher at the gas station all the time. Scratchers at the gas station are for for people that just... They're trying to, you know, before they... 
don't know. I don't even want to say because there might be people out there, but it's kind of sad if you really think about it. People trying to. It's like they couldn't. Yeah. Anyway. I feel like I don't want to go down that road because there might be people on here that go get scratchers. That could be me one day. 40 years from now, 30, 50 years from now, whatever. I could be trying to hit the big one before I bite the big one. House shopping update. Nothing. Yesterday we did an application. That's all that's really happened. And then um, Rain Man sent me a couple houses on Discord. Need to go look at them. Nothing too crazy. So since we just filled it out yesterday, it's not like we haven't we haven't heard back. We're probably not gonna hear back till Monday. It's the weekend now. I'll probably just drive around to look for signs. I'm on the uh, websites all the time, so and they don't really change every day. You see the same houses on the same websites, and you'll see a new one like every once in a while. I'm kind of looking in a specific area, too, and stuff doesn't always pop up in that area. There might be stuff popping up in other areas all the time, but I'm not trying to move to those areas, so... guess I'm being a little picky, and I have, like, a lot of people and a dog. Supernova says you have to buy the whole roll of scratchers to have the maximum amount of fun. <laughs> That's the way to do it. You gotta be all in or all out. I say. You either buy one, you get, you get your paycheck and you just buy one. And whatever happens, happens. You don't keep buying them. Or you go in there and you buy the entire roll. Yeah. You gotta be all in or all out. You can't go in there and buy five of them, waste a hundred bucks, win twenty bucks, buy twenty dollars more, win five bucks, and then buy five more and win no money. Like, that's just a waste of time and money. I say you gotta be all in or all out. You get your paycheck, you buy one. If you win, you win. If you don't, you don't. You, you wait till your next paycheck to buy another one. Or, like Supernova says, you go in there and you just buy the whole freaking roll. And you say, I'm, this, this is it. If I win, I win. If I don't, I don't. I'm done after this. I'm going to buy a whole roll. It's just like going to the casino. Everything's in their favor. You have to get really lucky. You have to be struck by lightning. Funny thing is, though, I actually know a person. Like, through a person. Like, not, not somebody I've ever talked to or actually stood there next to or anything. But I know, like, through Mrs. Cinny, I know a person that she used to work with. Who actually won. So it's I guess it's not impossible, but... Like, I know one person. That I don't even really know. I just know through another person. But that's kind of like this game. You don't count on the scratchers. You, you go for the sure things. You do the boring teams that get the job done. And then when you're done doing all the boring daily stuff, you can go mess around with your completely dwarf team. Or your I like cats team. Or your I love dragons team. Or whatever. You can do that after. I like Suna. I'm going to make a team about Suna. Well, you know you're slowing yourself down there. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to do every day. We got we got to play this freaking game for like an hour and a half a day on average, probably. You're going to sit there and make it slower with your Suna team? I mean, whatever floats your boat, buddy, but I would say use faster teams, and then when you're done, you go mess around with your Suna team. 
You've never seen a scratcher over five dollars? Nah, dude, they got they got some that are like a lot of there's at least twenty dollar ones, right? Where I live you can buy like a twenty dollar scratcher. I'm pretty sure. I'm not i I'm not like the scratcher expert. I could probably count the amount I've bought on one hand or two hands. But that's just how I am. I'm more of a... I don't go for lucky stuff. Because I have bad luck. <laughs> maybe that's where all my luck is. Maybe I should buy a scratcher. And maybe that's where it's all been waiting for me. All my good luck is in the scratcher department. And I just haven't been there yet. All right, so now it's over, right? The music changed. We don't have gnomes anymore. We can go see how many vault keys we got, which I didn't keep track beforehand, so I'm not really going to be able to tell you. I think I had like 100 and something. Uh, pity keys. Um, you get... For every gnome you see, there's like a tracker that'll give you a, a, a vault key for seeing a certain amount of gnomes, you know? And it goes up every time. So the, the first five gnomes you see, you get a pity key. And then it goes up to ten. And then the next ten you see, you get another vault key sent to you in the mail, aka a pity key. The next time you see fifteen gnomes, you'll get a Vault key sent to you in the mail. It's just for pity. Like, oh, just to make sure you're getting vault keys, every time you see this many gnomes, you're going to get one sent to you in the mail. Because some people get super unlucky, and they just, for some reason, don't see as much vault keys as other people. So they want to make sure you're getting some, so they send them to you in the mail after you see a certain amount of gnomes, just in case. Should probably take these, huh? Am I going to be playing for another 30 minutes? Potentially. It's the best time to use these right now, in my opinion. Because, um... You know, you're just... You're doing so many battles back to back to back to back to back. This whole stream and you got no blue verse? Not one yesterday either? Dang. Are you doing, like, triple Ironhawk and Cinema Mirage? I'd be really surprised. If Professor says he's doing Triple Ironhawk and Cinema Mirage, then I'll be very, very surprised that you've got no blue verse in, in like two days. If you say you're doing Red Macacle and Zalkari, then that's then I'll not be surprised. But let me know. Let me know, Rich, what are you using and where are you using it? And then I will be surprised or not surprised. All right, so so far I have 166 vault keys and I still have four gaps. So it's not impossible if you're having bad luck. Just do what I'm doing. If you see somebody and they're getting verses and they're getting vault keys and they have gems and they have the things that you want, just do what they're doing. That's how you can do that in real life too. I need to do that more often. I need to give myself that advice. What's that successful guy doing? Let me do what they're doing. Do they get up at 5 a.m. and do push-ups? Maybe I should do that too. You know? Yeah, see, Rich, man, you got to do the Rowan or the uh, Ironhawks. That's too slow. That's too high of a mana cost. When you blow up your Leprechaun, you're not immediately getting up your Diamantina and Dombringer every single battle. So switch back to Rowan or, or Ironhawks, and I guarantee you'll get your blue verse. Like, the nicest way possible. I know I freaking come... I, the way I talk is just, like, so abrasive. And I don't mean it like that. I'm just trying to help. 
It's just the way I talk. It's how I've talked since I've been here. <laughs> I sound like an a-hole. I know. But yeah, send a Mirage with Rowan or Ironhawk, and you'll get your verse. I promise. Or if you're just, like, super opposed to that, try Moon Mage. The Doomsayer thing. Okay, so, what am I doing? I am going to go hunt verses again. This is exactly what Rich should be doing. Let's go show Rich. Explore. Send a Mirage. I'm going to switch to Triple Ironhawk. I mean Rich, you know? You're not getting the verse you need. Maybe you should try something different is all I'm saying. It's gener It's not just me. Like I'm not the only person in the world saying that Rowan and Ironhawk is the way to go when you're hunting verses, when you're going for vault keys during a vault event. It's not just me that's been the you know, way we've been doing it for a very long time. And we do it like that for a reason. And there, you could use Diamantina, Dawnbringer, Red Macockle... Uh, Tesla, but when you it, it, the proof is in the pudding. If we're not getting the thing we need, maybe we should go try the the meta thing that everyone says we should do. Uh, Iron Hawk, because I'm I'm fine. I never I'm never sitting here like ev maybe every once in a while because it is RNG. So even if you're doing everything perfectly, you can just not get the verse you need. Look how fast that is. There's no freaking way a Diamantina uh, Dawnbringer team is this fast. So every battle you do, I'm doing two battles probably. So I'm doing twice as many kills as you. So of course I'm going to see the blue verse. Why is it not one shot for you? Do you got the uh you got it fully traded? It's it has nothing to do with stats. That's the cool part. Like a level one player with this team will hit just as hard as a level three thousand person with this team. Okay, you haven't fully traded, so you got Dust Devil and three Iron Hawks, right? The Dust Devil is important because it does damage. And it sets off the three Iron Hawks. So we're doing 20 damage. No matter who we are. And like here it's not going to kill the, the... It's not going to kill the Dragonite Gnome. Because he has 20... He has too much durability. But you see how everybody else... Alright look. This guy does 5 damage right? No matter how much... There's no purple. It's not... The 5 isn't purple. So it has nothing to do with anybody's stats. He does 5 damage whether you're level 1 or you're level 8 million. He does 5 damage. He starts empowered. You have to have him fully traded for this to work. We press our Dust Devil. He does 5 damage to all enemies. So that's 5. We got 3 Iron Hawks fully traded. They do 5 damage to all enemies when an ally casts a spell. No matter what your stats are, it doesn't matter. You're level 1, you're level 8 million, it's going to do 5 damage to all enemies. So in total, we're doing 20 damage. No matter who we are. Level 1, level 8 million. The enemies. First enemy has 14. Third enemy has 18. Last enemy has 12. So, and this is not a good example because the Dragonite Gnome. But we're happy that we got a Dragonite Gnome. So it can survive. So here I just take brown and yellow or skulls. Bang, it's dead. Well, watch the next fight. Like, it's impossible. Everybody, this should work for everybody no matter what. Like, there's no reason. Alright, look. First enemy, 14. Second enemy, 16. Third enemy, 12. Last enemy, 18. None of them have more than 20. We're doing 5. 5. 5. And 5. So that adds up to 20. 14, 16, 12, and 18. They all have less, so they all die. And that has nothing to do with stats or level or anything. Level 1 person with these troops could, could do that too. So I don't know how it's... What's happening for you. Either you're... Maybe you're not on Explorer 1. 
That's the only other thing it could be is you're not on Explorer 1. We got to do Explorer 1. We got to have everything fully traded. And that's pretty much it. And then there'll be like one, you know, the Dragonite Gnome will survive every once in a while, but that's it. Maybe if you get a boss chest, an enemy will survive. Every once in a while, but you see how everything's dying so fast. I don't want either one of those. I don't get why it's not working then, Rich. I'd have to probably look at your... That's strange. It's literally like not to... Uh, there's no... Like add up 20... Like add up the enemy's durability. I don't even know how it, it can't work. I don't know how it doesn't work. I don't understand. 14, 16, 16... And 13. 5, 10, 15, 20. We're doing 20 no matter what. I can't even think of why it wouldn't work. Can anybody think of another reason why Professor's team is not working? <clears throat> I can't think of anything except for we're not fully traded or we're not on Explorer 1 because there's no other reason. Because this has nothing to do with my stats or level. Now I have to have a super bougie triple Ironhawk team. That ha <laughs> and even two, just maybe try two then. If you're if something's surviving with one HP or two HP, you could go back to the double Ironhawk. It's still faster than a Dombringer Diamantina. The problem with anything except for Rowan or Ironhawk is the consistency of it. Even though you can start a Diamantina with 50% mana with the Cincy, it still costs 15 mana to fill it up. Rowan will never cost more than 6 mana to fill it up. So it's way more consistent. And it, hit, it clears in one shot, too. So it's not like, oh, I should use a way more powerful... I need to use Diamantina or Dawnbringer or Stellarix or something. Because they're super power... We're doing Explore 1. We don't need to use our most powerful troop in the game. That has 32 mana cost. We need to just get something up, cast it, win. Get something up, cast it, win. Sometimes the strongest troop in the game isn't the fastest. For certain things. Oh, you got two? Okay, well then do Sister Superior. I knew it was something. So put Sister Superior on the bottom and do what I do during gaps. And that should still be faster than... Diamantina and... Dawnbringer. You're gonna do, um... The, the team I do during gaps. A lot of people have to do that right now. It's still the fastest. Ironhawk is the fastest. Triple Ironhawk is just bougie and when I'm hunting versus. You see me using the... the Dust Devil Sister Superior during gaps because the gnomes have more HP. Uh, second... I don't know why your Rowan took that long to get up. You're using Mirashi Queen? You do Black Manacles, Rowan, Leprechaun, Mirage Queen. Leprechaun explodes all the green on the board. Maybe do a green storm. Do like Archer. It's hard when the Leprechaun explodes all the green on the board to not get six mana. It will happen every once in a while, and that's why Iron Hawk is faster. Because Iron Hawk is a guaranteed every single time, no matter what. We're just pushing one button and winning. There's no board, nothing. We don't have to explode the board. We don't have to take any mana. That's why it's super consistent. This will happen every single time, no matter what. I 
I feel that a lot of people are out there doing that, so you're not alone. There's people doing Teslas. There's people doing Red Macaco. There's people out there gold farming. There's people out there doing Explorer 12. There's people out there doing PvP. Hey, I got a vault key for free. I'm going to count it. Uh, let's see what y'all are saying. I think I missed a couple things. Um, Sauna has 157 vault keys. Nice. Wow, and 112 on the alt. It's always after me that wins. Always the person after you, Supernova. Livewar says I'm unmotivated this time. One gap, 15, and five keys. Hey, that's still 20 total. That's like average. But I understand not being motivated. We have a vault event every month almost nowadays. I, I, it's hard to be motivated for every single vault event. Uh, Supernova says, what's your vault key goal? 300 or 500? Probably just 300. I'm realistic. I, I got a lot of crap to do this weekend. And I'll be lucky to get the 300. So I'm just going to go for 300 again. It's been working for me. That's like my bare minimum and... I wish I could get more, and I might try for more, and if I get everything else I need to get done, done, and I can play late night or something, I might go for more, but 300 bare minimum is what I do. So that's just what I say I'm shooting for, and then sometimes I'll hit 350, 400, 450. Supernova's going for 500. Caustic says, Dust Devil, Sister, two times Ironhawk during the stream, six times verse one. That's a lot of verses, though. You're just getting unlucky. Dervicious says, hey, sending us enters, just letting you know I'm alive. Hey, good to see. I appreciate it. You guys can always check on me to see if I'm alive, because I live stream every day. But if you guys disappear, where am I supposed to check on you? Where, how am I supposed to check on Joshua right now? I'll just, where's Joshua? What if Joshua is laying in a ditch somewhere? How am I supposed to know? Um, Ironhawk's third trait, yep. You got three yellow versus four red, five green. Yeah, that is trolling you. You are getting trolled too, you know? You could, you could do the right thing and still get trolled, so you're just, you are just getting trolled a little bit too. So that's part of it. Brad says, hey, Cindy, I need to craft the one million soul weapon. Should I do Dawnbringer or Dustbringer first? Dawnbringer's usually the answer. I think it hits harder technically. It gives you a barrier to all your troops. It's kind of more useful in more situations, even though you, both of them are kind of falling out of favor. I still use Dustbringer. It's one of my favorite weapons. Like, I'm not crapping on it, but I think the right answer is Dawnbringer. But yeah, two Iron Hawks is still better than um, uh, anything except for three Iron Hawks. The 30 Ironhawk thing, Rain Man, was I gave a guild task, uh, uh, legendary tasks to my guild for completing the Tower of Doom on Thursday. I gave 5 million in, in, in legendary tasks, and that gave us an Ironhawk for every person in the guild. I showed it earlier in the stream. Every person in our guild got an Ironhawk. I got super lucky. It was crazy. The best mythic in the game for everybody in our guild on a random legendary task. That I just happened to throw because I was gifting to the entire guild because they did so well in the Tower of Doom. On the first day of Vault Event, where you would actually use the Iron Hawk, it, like crazy, crazy coincidence and luck. Um, Supernova has 40 Paloozas, 36 hours farming, and 36 hours Paloozin. Iron Hawk with Sister Superior. It's not two turns, it's two button presses, so it's still just one turn. You press Sister Superior, you press Dust Devil, the enemy never gets a turn. And it works every single time. Every single time. You're going to do the Leprechaun, and sometimes it won't get up Rowan. You're going to do the Leprechaun, and it's definitely not going to get up Dawnbringer or Diamantina every single time. But if you push Sister Superior and then Dust Devil, that works every single time, and the enemy never gets a turn. 
Yeah, the fact that uh, Sister Superior has an extra turn after you cast it. Then you do the Dust Devil. That'll give you all the damage and make sure the enemy never gets to cast. Every six Vault Event, you get a blue. Dang. I mean, that's just bad luck, Rich. You're getting verses. You just gotta keep going. It's just like the Horde Mimic Mythic. You gotta just get boss chests. You're gonna get a boss. You're not gonna get it. A boss chest. Don't get it. Boss chest. Don't. What else are you gonna do? All you can do is keep getting boss chests. There's no other way to. We can't do a rain dance and a. And like twerk or something. Nothing's gonna work except for continuing to get boss chests. Nothing's gonna work to help you get that verse except for to continue to kill enemies as quickly as possible on Explore One. As consistently and consi you know, as quickly as possible on Explore One. It's the only thing, and it's just screwing you right now. It's trolling you. You're right. But that's all you can do, and it's frustrating. You're getting a lot of verses, though, so whatever you're doing now is working, so. Caustic Life says, is there a reason you pick Sin? I pick whatever Arcane Stone I'm low on. Yeah, if you're doing Rowan, you can go to whatever kingdom you want. The reason I do Cinema Mirage every time, or Wild Plains every time, is because I know it works. Enemies don't survive. They don't do barrier. They don't summon. They don't do anything annoying. They're not doing some merge. And I have all the trait stones in the game. I have a billion trait stones. I don't need trait stones. And I'm using Iron Hawk. So a lot of reasons why I'm doing Cinema Mirage. Somebody that's using Rowan and still needs trait stones. You can go to a different kingdom if you want. But if you're hunting verses and vault keys, and that's all you need, and you're not worried about anything else, and you have triple iron hawk, I think Santa Mirage is the place to be. Unless you know of a different kingdom where it does, it replicates exactly what I'm doing here. Like, Sana's been doing uh, Midnight, and maybe that works, I haven't tried it. There's the verse I needed right there, green verse, I got mine. Proof is in the pudding, there's the verse I need. While talking and streaming, I just got the one I needed. Using Triple Iron Hawk with Dust Devil, I got the verse I needed. Glorfindel says we run the old Moon Mage team for benefit of the new guys, please. If I still have it saved, I definitely will. Yeah, let me show that. I hope I still have it. I don't know, man. You give me so many teams, I have to, sometimes I have to, like... <laughs> there it is. Hey, I got it. Alright, so, if you want to use something different... If, for some reason, you're just, a uh, Like, you don't want to do Rowan, and you don't want to do Ironhawk. This is the next best thing. It's not Red Macaco, it's not Tesla. It's this. If you're leveling Doomsayer... Especially. Because you have to use Doomsayer for, for this team to work properly. And you have to, like, set it up exactly like this, too. Glorfindel came up with this team, like, how, like a year or two ago? Something like that? It's been a while. And it freaking works. I was skeptical at first. I think I need Nisha medals on, huh? Oops. I mean, just in case. I don't know for sure. This is like the, hey, I'm I'm a contrarian. I don't want to use Rowan or Ironhawk. Here you go. Or, hey, I'm leveling Doomsayer. It's Moon Mage, who's 9 mana cost, right? And then she's 50% started. So all she needs is 5 mana. That's less than Rowan. Then you got your Leprechaun exploding, getting her up. So she gets up pretty much as much as Rowan would, maybe more. And then she does just enough damage to clear Explore 1. So it'll resemble a Rowan. It's not as fast as Ironhawk, because we still have to give the enemy a turn. But it resembles Rowan in its speed. Sometimes it does do it in one turn, though. You see right there? That little Doomsayer explosion that happens.
pretty quick. I've never really tested it against Rowan to see which one's faster. Yeah, you know, if you've seen this elsewhere, it didn't come from them. They copied us. Because Glorfindel gave it to me, I showed it. We were the first ones to show the Moon Mage team. I just don't like... You know, I showed it when it when we figured when, when he when he gave it to me, I showed it. I used it for a bit, and then Iron Hawk came out or something, or you know, like right there, I didn't get up. So it's not like all the time. Iron Hawk is all the time. But yeah, this is fun, and it definitely works. And I remember back when you you were talking about it, I'm like, I don't know, man, Rowan and. And then I tried it, and I was like, wow. But yeah, you have to use Doomsayer. That's the one thing. Like, if you're trying to level other classes, go with Rowan. If for some reason you... Like, I don't even have Doomsayer leveled. Maybe I should do this. But I'm, I'm more into getting Vault Keys than leveling Doomsayer, so... But there you go, Glorfindel. Dang, you're getting yellow, yellow, yellow. Supernova says, when verse farming, turn your brain off and listen to music or a whole franchise of movies like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah, even I couldn't just sit here and verse farm. I, ha I have to run gaps in between. I have to do something different. As long as it's uh, getting me towards my goal of getting vault keys, though. Rich says, woohoo, 30 verses later, one blue. I just needed... <laughs> There you go, dude. Rich was doing doing Sister Superior. Now he got his freaking verse. How often does that happen? It's like... People... I don't know. I feel like it makes me look like a jerk when everything always turns up the way I say. If I point it out, I guess. I guess I should just not point it out. I should just be like, yep. You changed your team to the one I said and you got your verse. Glad to help is basically what I should say. Ooh, another blue for Rich. You would think we, like, set this up. I told him to say this stuff before the stream. I'm like, hey, say you can't get a blue verse, and then say you're using a weird team, and then I'll tell you to use the right team, and then say you got two in a row. <laughs> we do not have that much forethought. Sorry. It is way cooler than that. It's actual reality. All right, back to the team that Rich is using. Oops, I just copied that one. I have to go get Sister again. Yeah, you can do Greed, too. Sister Superior is the best one, but you can also do Greed in the same way. It'll give you a little bit of extra gold. That's what I used to do. But then I just said, I'm going all in on Vault Keys. Like, Greed does this tiny little explosion that makes it take a tiny bit longer. I don't know how to be... Uh, I don't know how to do my alphabet. There we go. Alright, one more gap, then I should probably get out of here pretty soon. Let's run one more. Dragor's here! Elden Ring tomorrow, yep. Yo, Warlord, what's up? <laughs> Gorfindel says, yeah, cheers, I like it, but then again, I would. <laughs> You're pretty good at making teams, bro. Pretty good is an awesome. Okay, so let's go to the Soul Forge. Actually, let's look at our vault keys first. So I know, I want to know how many I get. Because I want to make sure I'm getting what I should be getting. 
Am I getting at least 20 and 2? We got 152 and 15. That's right on par. Just think 10% as far as your epics go. I have 150 vault keys. You move the decimal. 15. I got 15 epics, right? So, 152 and 15. Let's see if I can remember that. Like a bad memory. 152 and 15. I should write something on the in the chat, but... Oh, well. <clears throat> so, 151, 15 is when our Nomapalooza will end. As soon as we get to 15, I'll hit yes. Have your team preloaded. Make sure you're on your right kingdom. Be ready to go when you hit that Nomopalooza. Have your timer set, whatever you're doing. Think about everything before you hit that button. Let's not waste a second of our Nomopalooza. Use your Grisendo deck. Hey. You know what I'm going to say. I can't approve of it, but whatever floats your boat. <clears throat> we just showed in in real time a person switching to the right team and getting the things that they need. Meta is meta is meta. The one thing I was wondering is is there any room for Stellarix in a vault event? If somebody was out there saying they're using Stellarix now, talk Shaka, talk Hawka. That would be one thing I would wonder. You know, Crescendo and Dawnbringer and Diamantina, I'm not wondering if that's better. I know that it's not. Tesla, Red Macaco, I'm not wondering if those are better. But ever, ever since talk Kaka, talk Shaka, I'm like, I wonder. No one said it yet. We haven't had anybody on here like, I'm using Takaka and it's going amazing. I'm getting more. It's hard to be faster than this. It's like really hard. And it doesn't matter if you do Explore 12 or Explore 5 or... It's just how many enemies you kill, how fast. So it doesn't matter if they're harder. You want them to be easier. You don't have Iron Hawks, then the advice is Rowan or Moon Mage. You don't have two Iron Hawks, you do Black Manacles, Rowan, Leprechaun, and Mirage Queen. Whatever class you want to level, whatever kingdom you want to get trait stones in. It's definitely more versatile, and you can do more things with the Rowan, but once you get Ironhawks, you're high level, and all you care about is Vault Keys and Verses. You don't like it? Hey, you know. Whatever, you're playing a game, so. If there's anybody on the fence out there, I gotta be like, oh, use Rowan, and use Moon Mage, and use Ironhawks, because I don't want anybody else out there just thinking... That that's not the best, because it is. Yeah, anything, you know, if you're doing, if something's taking two turns, and then something else is taking one turn, it's twice as slow. If the enemy gets a turn, it's already twice as slow. So we're choosing to be twice as slow. If you're not using Ironhawk or Rowan, you're choosing to be slower. It's like running a race with high heels on. Today is the big race. 
Let me wear my high heels. Because they look hot. That would be my metaphor for using any team other than Rowan or Ironhawk or Moon Mage. You're deciding to run a race with high heels on because they look hot. They make your... Your calves look amazing. Now, you're not going to win that race. You're not going to win, but you're going to look hot while, you, while you're running. You're going to look super hot. Your, your calves are going to be flexing. You're going to have them red high heels on. They're going to look beautiful. You shine them up real nice. Maybe you got the red bottoms. Show them off. You kind of fall down a couple times on purpose and people help you up. You're, pose, you're stopping to pose and twerk. We, we're not trying to go the fastest. We're trying to look good. Using Tesla or Red Macaco or Stellarix or Diamantina, you're, you're wearing high heels during a race. I'm trying to win the race. I'm taking I'm taking all the weight out of I'm taking the spare tire out. Nobody else is coming with me. I'm taking out the seats. I'm changing I'm taking all the metal off and putting on carbon fiber. I'm taking every piece out that, that has any kind of weight that I don't need. I'm I'm in a race. I wanna go fast. Be like you're in a drag race and you got two giant speakers in the back that are bumping some sick music. If you got the giant 18 inch subwoofers in the back while you're trying to do a drag race and they're weighing like 300 pounds. You look, you sound cool though. You sound, you're the coolest sound. You just lost. You lost though. When, when the race is over, you can be the parking lot DJ, at least. Listen to this, guys. Here's the theme music for the guy who won. I'm the DJ for the guy who won. Even though we were racing, and he beat me, I got the music, though, for his victory lap. I sounded good, though, right? You know, I sounded good, though, right? Boys! It's for the boys. Hey, boys, that sounded good, though, huh? I was bumping. I was bumping down that track. The other guy, he was out of here. He was out of here. I was looking at his brake lights. He walked me like a dog. I got dog walked. But you know what? I sounded really good. That music was a bumping. I got walked like a dog, destroyed, smoked, left in the dust, looking at their brake lights, but I sounded really good. I can play the music for him in his victory lap. What, what do you want to hear? Hey buddy, you just crushed me, smoked me. What do you want to hear? I got you. Thanks buddy. Now give me your pink slip. Give me all your money. You probably can't afford, afford those speakers now. You just lost the race. Remember how we bet a bunch of money on this race? Aw, oh, man. Here's my speakers. I sold my car for gas money. What are we doing? We're running. We're sprinting. We're trying to do something as fast as possible. Let me put on my high heels. Let me get my high heels out. My red bottoms. I'm going to look sexy. I'm going to look sexy while I run this, fat, this race. I'm going to lose, but I'm going to look good. At least I'll look sexy while I lose. <laughs> hey, at least there's something different. I rant about the same thing every day. It's something new. Come on. We're talking about sexy high heels. I was wondering, I wasn't the best for everybody is all. If I put it a certain way, maybe it'll click. 
That does make sense. I was at the track last week, and this guy had his stupid speakers in the back. What is he doing? He lost the race. The whole point. For three days, that's it, too. You can have the speakers in every other day of the month. You can bump those speakers. You can just have the sickest, biggest speakers back there every other day of the month. There are 27 other days. For these three tiny days, you take them out. You take them out. You use the fastest. You go the fastest as you can go. You're trying to win. You're not trying to sound cool. It's just for three days. We can, we can not, we can, remember yesterday with the, like, you're addicted and you can't stop doing it? <laughs> Just for three days, come on, man, we can stop for three days. We can do the right thing for three days. We can do the fastest team for three days. Let's get this loot. Let's go. Let's go fast. Let's not mess around. They're not giving us vault events every day of the week, every single weekend. So when they come, let's go. Let's go fast. Let's get it done. Cupcake head. Hey, that's a good one. That'd be the counterpoint. Cinny, how come you're playing Elden Ring during the vault event? <laughs> You're sitting here playing Elden Ring. Why? It's the vault event, you dummy. That'll be me tomorrow. Warlord says, you in a race nobody else is in. It's the moon landing all over again. Nobody else is going, but yeah, you got there first. Yep. I'm just getting gems and vault keys, man. Just getting gems and vault keys. I'm just getting the thing I want. I'm, I'm like, people actually see me doing it too, so it's fine. Um, Sexy Sunny <laughs> in my Elden Ring bikini. That makes me faster, though. The, if I was wearing high heels in, in Elden Ring, it would make me slower. I'm aerodynamic. I took off all my clothes so I could be faster. That'd be like running a race naked so you can be as fast as possible. In Elden Ring, I stripped down to my bikini. Simba said I got the Mirage Queen Rowan team at level 142. Nice job. That's right around when you would get it, I would say. You gotta wait for Rowan. You gotta wait for the Forest of Thorns quest. So it's not like you can get it immediately. That's why there's gotta be at least one team before Rowan. You gotta, you gotta have one team. It doesn't have to be goblins. I just recommend goblins because you get extra turns and it kind of gives you more leeway to learn the game and... You know, if every cast you do, you get an extra turn. It's kind of easier to learn the game. So I recommend Goblins as your very first team until you get Roman. But you could do stuff like Triple Rock Worm and... You know, there's other things you could do. If you happen to get, like, a tight warrior, you could start doing that or... Nobody wound me up. I just want i want everybody to get the most vault keys and gems they can get. We've had two people in here not using the right teams. And I would just... I want to express why I wish you wouldn't. Because I just want you to get more vault keys and verses is all. If it sounds like I'm angry, it's because I'm mad that you're not getting more vault keys and verses. I'm mad for you, not for me. If you get less if you get less vault keys and verses, what does that matter to me? It doesn't matter. Like I always say that. 
I do love it when you guys come in here and you're like, I got this many keys, I got this many verses, I got, now I got Ironhawk, and now I got this and that, and I got, was able to craft Dawnbringer, I was able to get Zulgoth, I was able to get CT, I now have this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this, and, and there's been many examples of it. It just pains me to see people using slow teams and then... That they're not gonna, I know they're not going to come in here and say, I got Zulgoth, I got Dawnbringer, I got this, 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 and this, and this, like Mark and like Professor and many other examples of people that have followed the advice. I love to see it, dude. I want people to come back in and be like, I got this because of this. I'm like, yes, good job. I'm glad. Happy to help. Mark just got High King Iron Gut. Mark just got his third Iron Hawk. Professor just got the verse he needed. Those are people following the advice. If you want Iron Hawk and, and you want uh, High King Iron Gut and you want the verse that you need, that's all I'm saying. It's The proof is in the pudding. If you don't, if you just want to wear high heels in your race or keep your speakers in or use your, your favorite team or whatever, like keep what it's a video game. So in the end, you're just having fun, but you got to just know that we got to know that too. Like I'm using a slower team because I'm having fun playing a video game. I'm not trying to get the most vault keys I can get. I'm not trying to get the most gems I can get. I'm not trying to stress out over a game and make it like a job because that's what we're doing. Maybe we're the idiots. Maybe we're the idiots because we're making this like a job every day and we think we have to go get a bunch of vault keys and gems. Maybe we're stupid. I don't know. All right, let's get these pities. Hey, at least we're not talking about pets today. We're talking about oddball teams. <laughs> it's a different one. It's different. All right, so, so far I have 184 vault keys, and I still have four entire gaps. I started with six entire gaps, but... I'm going down a little bit. I need that red verse now, so I actually need Cindy. One more Ironhawk, Leon. Two is fine. I love two. Two is where everything starts to go great. Three is bougie, and just you get verses faster. It's the fastest way to farm verses. You don't even need three. Once you get two, you're set. You're ready to go. You're ready to go full throttle. You got the, you know, you got the turbo and the engine. Getting the third Iron Hawk is just like taking the seats out and stuff. Like the little bit of extra, like you're going to make your car way less. And it helps a little bit. Getting the second Iron Hawk, you're putting the turbo in and you're like dropping in a sweet engine. That's the thing that really makes you go fast is that second Iron Hawk. The third one is just putting like a spoiler on or something. Like it helps a little bit, I guess. We, you know, <laughs> you get the verses faster. But when you get your second one, that's the big congratulations. The third one is like, um, I don't know. It's like getting three Eye of Argus or something, or it's good, but it's good, and you need it, but it's not necessary. It's bougie. Um. Already copied this. Now I did. All right, let's go get Iron Hawk. I'll do a little bit. I'm gonna go to the two-hour mark and then I'll say goodbye. Let's do a little bit of more verse farming. I hope I don't scare people away by. I hope I didn't. You know. I probably scare people away sometimes. I don't mean to. We got some thick-skinned people here. <laughs> You've been dealing with me for years. <laughs> Glorfindel and... 
Professor and Dragor and people have been here for years. You guys got thick skin. Supernova. Even Sauna for putting up, for, up with me for a year. Or however long it's been. Probably a little longer. I'm sorry for being the way I am, basically. I can't stop, though. It's never going to stop, so. It is what it is. It's about being efficient, yep. Maybe I go too hard sometimes. I don't know. I just imagine a hundred something, two hundred people listening. Maybe eventually three hundred, four hundred, five hundred people listening, and I gotta like smack it down. I don't want fifty people out there doing whatever team that's not right. But it's, it's whatever you want to do, because it's a game, too. So, if you want to use Lust because you like her boobies, we're, we're doing Lust because we like her boobies. You just got to know why you're doing it. You can't say, my Lust team is fast and I'm getting a bunch of vault keys and gems and, and verses. That's not the reason you're using it, no. The reason you're using Lust is because you like her boobies. The reason you wear the high heels is because they look sexy, not because you're trying to win the race. The reason you have the speakers in the back is because you like music and you like to bump the music. You're not really trying to win. We just got to accept it. We're having fun. Listening to music is fun. Looking sexy is fun. Lust boobies are fun. Sometimes we're just having fun. You don't always have to do the best thing. Mrs. Cinny, yeah, she says I'm too much sometimes. We're like yin and yang, though, you know? I'm always rocking Taylor Swift. I'm a real man. I only play teams with women on them. There you go. <laughs> I got a boat. I got a little man in a boat on my team, so what, are you t what you talking about, man? I got three little men and I got three little men in a boat. Am I? What are you talking about, bro? Speaking of booby, this game doesn't have a lot of sexy cards. <laughs> it's only bad if your team is slower than it needs to be. It's really only bad if you complain about missing something. If you're having fun and you're not complaining, then just use whatever you want. We can't go to the forums with our whatever team. I don't even want to say, like, our Tartarus team. We can't go to the forum or a stream and complain if we're using a Tartarus team. Especially if they tell you the correct team to do, and then you say, no, no, uh Tartarus. Cosmic boobies. Yeah, we had some boobies earlier. Uh, I'm probably not as bad in real life than I am on here. I get to let loose on here and just say whatever I want. It's my channel. I can say whatever I want to my own detriment all I want. I can self-sabotage all I want. <laughs> I don't have a filter for my brain on here, you guys. I don't. There is nothing blocking what I'm saying. There's no, like, in-between thing. My brain thinks something, and I say it. I'll, every once in a while, if you want me to be completely honest, every once in a while, my brain does filter things out. I do have self-preservation. I'm not gonna, like, sit here and tell you my social security number or something, like, obviously. But 95% of the time, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. 
There's no, like, screen. I forgot to put the filter in there. Tier list based on sexiness. Dude, I've always wanted to do, uh, like, at least, like, best troop art. I just don't think it would get views, dude. Not for me. You could have the best idea ever, and I won't get views for it for some reason. Which, you know... Five years ago, I would just do it anyway, because... I'm doing what I want to do and making videos that I want to make, but... <clears throat> Once you've been doing it for seven years, you're starting to, like, decide whether you should keep going or not, and you're like... More... Should I waste my time doing this sexy card video or <laughs> or not? Bane of Mercy. What about the angel. What about Mercy. Not terrible. Got Mercy. What's the hottest card in the game? That would definitely be me not doing the Vault Event when I should be. <laughs> and just having fun. Let's find the sexiest card in the game. That would be good for the ladies, too. We can find the hunky Let's find the hunkiest hunk. That'd be Let's do that instead. Let's find the sexiest dude. Who's the sexiest dude in Gems of War, you guys? I want to know. Is it Luther? Is it King Avalon? Darksmith Drenza's the sexiest dude? <laughs> yeah, Nipple Fobs. Nipple Fobs is definitely the sexiest dude. We got to give it to Nipple Fobs. Nipple Fobs has got to be the hunkiest hunk. There he is. Oh, baby. Is he the only one that shows his nipples off? Nipple Fabio has got to be the hottest dude in this game. <laughs> How many nipples are in this game? Instead of doing the vault event, let's look at nipples. Does he have nipples? No. Who's got their chesticles out? We need hot dudes. It'd be funny if Nipple Fobs is the only nipples. And then that, then I came up with Nipple Fobs. So that's the first thing my eye was drawn to. Oh, wait. There we go. We should do a nipple tier list. <laughs> Who's got the hottest nipples in Gems of War? <laughs> Arachnatar. Got his nipples out. Who else has their nipples out? It's gotta be a dude. Oh, wait. Oh, that's close. Not quite. Uh oh. Nope. No nipples. We got some bare-chested dudes with no nipples. That so doesn't count. There has to be those pepperonis on there. If there's no pepperonis... Then you get the pizza for free. He has a nipple ring. Does he actually have a nipple, though? Maybe he's the sexiest. I think he has a nipple. There's a little shading there. He's got a whole nipple ring in his nipple. That's got to be the best right there. He is drawing attention to his nipple with that nipple ring. He wants you to look at it. We got three nipples so far. Can we find more? 
anybody else look ever look for nipples in Gems of War? You come here for this kind of content, y'all. Can't get this anywhere else. Until tomorrow when somebody puts out a nipple tier list. Look at all the nipples. Cynical looked at all the nipples. <laughs> Next on... You know whose channel? Cynical looked at all the nipples. And he gets 2,000 views. For something I did. Cinecool got 30 Ironhawks for his guild. Next on You Know Who's channel. 2,000 views. Man, we're having a severe lack of nipples at the moment. <clears throat> Where are they? I should really be, like, getting off stream. Oh! Oh! Dragon Cruncher coming in. Coming in with his display. He's showing you. None of, how come, like, none of the nipple troops are good? We need a good nipple troop. Like, one that actually we use. So we can look at the nipples more. All the nipple troops are bad. What's up with that? They're too busy making dragons and... Oh, he's got a nipple ring too. Did you ever notice that? I didn't notice that. He's got a little tiny... He's got a little... Pinky fingers. Who else... Is he really going to go through all the troops? Oh, here's we go. He's just showing one, though. He's got one eyeball and one nipple. Got a cod piece. Looks like he's about to grab his own nipple. Eye of Argus might be the best nipple troop in the game. S tier. S tier. Eye of Argus is an S tier nipple troop. Oh, there we go. Nipple. Uh, everybody has them, dude. Everybody has them. Everybody has them. Everybody has them. It's okay. You're allowed to show your nipples if you're a guy. Why? I don't want to see it, though, for real. It's just like the short shorts. I don't want to see your nipples out in public. You want to whip your shirt off and get a tan? Well, go behind the house or something. I don't want to see your nipples. You know what I mean? I'm not looking, but... It's just like the short short thing. You don't... You're not looking, but it's just like... The sun is gleaming off their... Shaved legs. You can't, like, blind your eyes. And you're like, what was that? And you're like, oh! It's like nipples. Your eyes are... It's like, whoa, ah! It's like the sun when there's an eclipse. You want to look at it. You know you shouldn't, and it'll hurt you. But, like, you can't stop yourself. Some people just love to whip their shirt off and walk around outside. Show their nipples. That or they got some sweet tats that they got to show. Looks like somebody drew on them with crayons. I let me I let my buddy draw me with crayons. Check it out. And while you're at it, look at my nipples. While you're at it, look at my nipples. While you look at my my crayon drawing. I got a crayon drawing on my back. Look at it. I let I let this random guy draw me with crayons. Doesn't it look good? Look at it. Unless you got some sweet. Maybe it's sweet. A lot of the time it looks like somebody drew on them with crayons though. Oh well. Anyway. I guess I'm done looking at nipples. I'm not going to go. Oh. Before we go. One more. 
I'll just leave. I'll leave you with that. That one looks inflamed. He needs to. He needs to get that checked out. You get it checked out, bro. Looks like he's in pain. Like he just got the nipple ring in. All right, y'all. Ooh, does Thrall have nipples? Are you guys going through and looking ahead for the nipples? That's not cool. I gotta see Thrall's nipples now. He might be the S tier nipple troop. We gotta give it to Thrall. If Thrall has the nipples, he's got a Eye of Argus, you've just lost your crown. Oh, yeah! Look at it! Like perfect circles. Those are some old school nipples right there. They, they drew that guy a long time ago before they actually got good at nipples. They got really good at nipples over the years and they started putting rings in them and everything. Like they started really, you know, because that's some old school nipples right there. That's just a circle. They didn't do any, any, anything extra with that nipple. They just, that looks like a stamp or something. Like they just, somebody just stamped their, like a thumbprint. I don't know. That's some old school right there. That's just a circle. I could draw that. They be getting creative recently with the rings in them and the extra little piece, the areola. That's an old school nipple right there. It's just a circle. But as far as like the best troop with their nipples out, it might be Thrall. Queen nipple pot. <laughs> I think we're losing viewers. I better get out of here. <laughs> What else is new? All right. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Take it about the channel comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. Uh, next stream is Elden Ring tomorrow. Probably early. Like, I say early. That means probably 10 a.m. like today. When I try to get on early, I just get on on time. So, we're looking at like 10 a.m. tomorrow, realistically. We are literally fighting a boss immediately. So if you have any, like, oh, he just wanders around naked with a cupcake on his head and does nothing and just dies all the time and he screams and he yells profanities and Elden Ring, I hate Elden Ring because all he does is he runs around naked with a cupcake on his head screaming obscenities while he dies. Like, I hate that. That's the worst content I've ever seen. Well, guess what? Tomorrow we're immediately starting with a boss. So... We'll be naked with a cupcake on our head, screaming obscenities while we fight a boss. Thank you for joining me today. Sauna, Chad, Supernova, Mark, Leon, Simba. We got Chad, Clip Bomb, Leon. We got Garth. We got Livewire. We got Professor. We got Glorfindel. Mark, Simba, Leon, Sauna, Lady Alfhild. Mark, Simba, Professor... Rich, Leon, Garth, Dragor. Sauna's been a member for 13 freaking months. That's over a whole year. Appreciate your continued support and all your hard work. Sauna puts all like all the videos on the Discord and like for at every and at everyone. So that helps a lot. That's what the Discord is for. I made the Discord to drive people to the YouTube channel, you know, and also to ask questions and talk to me when we're not streaming, but the original reason I made the Discord was to, for the YouTube channel. Like, if, if the YouTube channel goes away, the Discord goes away. The first thing that's leaving is the Discord, most likely, and then the YouTube channel, not the other way around. So, I appreciate Tana for being there and helping, and, and Chad too, Chad too. Garth, Dregor, Professor, Leon, Supernova, Glorfindel, because I'm not there all the time. Warlord, I apologize if I went too far, Warlord. You're probably not here anymore, and you're probably never coming back, but I just want to see everybody do better, and I'm abrasive as hell. Garth, play it. It's a game. Just do whatever you want. It's a freaking video game. I'm just, I'm being too serious, and Rich, I exaggerate. I always say that. I exaggerate everything. Glorfindel. Rain Man, Brad. Hey, good, Warlord. You got the thick skin then. I thought you did. Brad. I mean, you got a name like Warlord. You're not going to back down. You know what I'm saying? Rich Supernova. I piss off my brother. Like, <laughs> Maka. Sauna, Glorfindel. All right, y'all. 
I'm out of here. You're the best. Yeah, you let you Warlord created the high heels, the 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 you know, the speakers in the back. He made a whole rant. So sometimes when you say something, I am not directly going at you, but you create content that you know, you you make it to where I'm off on a tangent doing a rant that has nothing to do with you, but you set me off, which is a good thing. Like I appreciate it. That's a good thing. I am happy when people set me off on a rant so I can do my thing. That is the only thing I got that other people can't do. You know what I mean? Like nobody can be me and have my personality and do the things the way that I do them when it comes to rant, ranting and raving. And like I'm good at the game and I'm pretty, you know, but Eris, there's other people that are good at the game. Like the other guy is good at the game. Like Tacit's good at the game. Like Crisp is good at the game. Ginky is, you know, good at the game. I can rant and rave and it's the extra little thing because everybody else can be good at the game too but i have my own personality i'm my own person and it helps some people like warlord come in and say something that triggers the personality so i appreciate it all right y'all hi anita bye anita <laughs> yeah i gotta go we were talking about nipples it was nothing crazy we were going over all the the, the troops with the best nipples that's it but I'll see you guys. You're the best. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow if you just want to hang out. And while you're doing the Vault event, if you want to watch me die and scream. But. Do it, Warlord. Do it. Do it. As long as. I want everybody to do that. As long as you can take it, do it. If you could take it, do it. I, I encourage it. I think it makes it more fun. And we might lose five viewers while I'm ranting, but it feels more fun to me. And I think it's more fun for the real ones here. So I don't really care. I won't look. I'll just keep looking away from the view count or the viewer count. Yeah, I don't care. Screw it. All right, y'all. Have a good one. You're the best. Go get some vault keys for real. And I'll see you tomorrow morning if you want to watch Elden Ring. If not, I'm going to put a pre-recorded video out Monday. There's no live stream because I got the 8 to 5 bullshit where you have to wait all day, and you never know when they're coming. So, hopefully we're back streaming on Tuesday, but I'll let you know. You're the best. Peace out. Thank you so much. Have a good day.